but about to get it going. We're just watching a little bit of the Virginia victory early. A low scoring game. They won it 49 47 over Wake Forest. And the Blue Devils now trying to stay ahead of Virginia. They got to the second with every loss for Virginia earlier this week, trying to stay in that second place. One win behind Carolina. Trying to feed downstairs to Baba Miller. Another freshman, McCain. Pass will be tipped and collected by FSU. And Jameer Watkins, watch him today. If he has a big day, FSU is going to be in it all the way. And he will lay that one in. Filipowski with a touch. McCain will launch and swish it in. Welcome to the Tuck here in Tallahassee, Florida. It's the Seminoles off to a quick start. Tyrese Proctor averaging 10 points a game. The 6'5 sophomore guard for the Duke Blue Devils did not make the trip because of a concussion suffered on Monday in the game against Wake Forest. Jameer Watkins, 26 points, terrific against Virginia Tech in a loss this week. He's got it in the corner, and that'll rattle home. So I expect to see Jalen Blakes, who had 17 against Florida State the last time they played. I expect to see him getting in off the bench. So it's the penetrate. Here comes McCain. A little shove off there, but he drops it down. He is a tough guard. That's a guy that you may want to leave out there for 40. When you can take away the first few games of the season, over the last 18 games, he's probably been their most consistent guy. Green Jr. And it rattles home. We were watching him shoot earlier today. Yeah, he had 21 against Georgia, 24 against North Florida. He gets rolling. It can be lights out. Rolling to the basket. Up and in for two. Cam Corrin, the 6'10 sophomore. And another nice find from Jalen Worley, who now has two assists early in this game. Mitchell on the back down, no whistle. I mean, how does that happen? How does any coach, any program, win 14 straight overtime games in Division I college basketball? Roach will launch and knock down a three. Call me 6-12. Green Jr. giving off for Watkins. He's their top scorer at 15 a game, but they just keep making shots. That's seven out of eight. Young up top for McCain straight away. Well, it's like a layup for him. But that's just a defensive mistake by Primo Spears. You got to understand Jared McCain at the top of the key, even if there is a shooter on that baseline. He's a 6'10 freshman. And Paul Bowen now 3 of 21 from beyond the arc on the season. Oh. And speaking of freshmen that can shoot it, not one, not two, but. Watkins trying to wriggle free, dumps it downstairs, blocked by Mitchell. In transition, here come the Blue Devils. Roach, oh, look away pass for Young. That's going to be blocked by Watkins. You know, they don't play with the same size we're used to playing, seeing Florida State play with either. McCain again. Uh -oh. oh, yes. Uh oh. Another three. They struggled to start ACC play this year, but Jared McCain has been the guy that's grown up right in front of our eyes. Bo Bowen with a pull up pop, got it to go. He was actually born in a refugee camp in Egypt. From the Orlando area now getting into the mix. I'm sure his dad, Yogi's in stands as the Blue Devils turn it off. Spears with the pick. He'll go up against all blue shirts and lay it in, and he takes a tumble into the photon. But it's been a double-digit score for them since his debut. Roach operate, finds the lane, just too quick. Roach tops in the ACC and assists to turnover ratio, rarely kicks it over. And this will be picked off by Blakes, up ahead of the field, goes up strong and draws the foul. He'll be at the line for a three-point play. 17 points the last time these two teams got together and he's a young man that is awesome on the defensive end of the floor turning his defense he says he's the one guy that he knows is going to compete every possession when you put him on the floor miller curling in boy that's a tough shot off the window blake's back to filipowski he'll attack lost it fast break opportunity spears getting it for corin inside and will lay it in they trying to fight back with their defense, turning it into offense. Cam Corn running the floor, getting the good look under the rack. I can't believe it. I mean, he's in such great shape. And asked him, how do you do that? Because he still looks like a million bucks. And Jackson knocks it too. Uh, he's a man of great faith as well. Absolutely. That's, you know, Leonard Hamilton. So back to Myron's story is Jerry McCain. 
Oh, that's going to go. Knocks down his fifth three, which is a career high for Jared McCain. He only worked one day, OB. Right. He went to work on Monday, was not there on Tuesday. Boy, around and out. Duke leading at 32 26. We talk about Coach Ham and his great faith, also the owner of a Christian record label. Oh, and Jared goodness. McCain. Duke 35, FSU 26. Spears to the lane with a fall away. Yes. Two seasons ago, when we watched Hunter Couture hit nine threes on this floor, Jared McCain already with six. And believe me, this young man, he is looking for another one. He will not stop shooting. Well, here he'll take a two off the window. He absolutely has been that OB. I've known this young man for quite some time since he won a Peace Jam championship with Russell Westbrook's team. Why not? Out of Southern California. Jackson gets hit while taking the mid-range jumper. Jackson getting into the painted area, able to finish through the contact of Mark Mitchell. And a Roach to penetrate. That's going to be blocked. Gainey got a piece of it. Spears on the other end. Scoops in for two. A strong response. That's for sure. One of the great performances perhaps we've seen all season long. And that's a really difficult shot by Foster in heavy traffic. Yes, strong take by Caleb Foster. FSU just two and five in their last seven in the ACC. Is McCain on the spin. Nice dish. Filipowski will get it in. Spears tried to dish into the lane. Picked off by Duke. Nice give here from McCain. McCain stepping back. Oh. Rolls another triple. Oh. Incredible first half oh. for Jaron McCain. Oh. And a long one coming is switched in by Darren Green Jr. He can do it too. He's capable of some big scoring performances. If that's not what John Shire wanted to see defensively from his team on the first possession because he knows Darren can bring it back really quick. Filipowski with a quick answer on the other end. For those supporting the Seminoles here in this building. Foster on the drive. Roach gets a look and sticks it. Great poise by Jeremy Roach recognizing the shot clock knowing he had more than enough time. Blue Devils playing short. Worley, slick move, the tip is up and in. Foster wants to get off a shot, high arching shot, that goes down. Let's see if Jameer Watkins gets rolling here in the second half. Over the top pass, it's going to be stuffed in by Cameron Corn. Some playmaking here in the second half, getting downhill, tossing it up, Cameron Corn. Duke on the road for the first time since the 3rd of February. Foster and batted out. Right there, getting into the passing lane, coming up with the steal. And again, he's not thinking about his own. But of course, when you got a guy that's on a heater like that. Filipowski, a high post. Likes that move. And overcame another big in Jalen Ganey. Those numbers are normally over seven feet when we look at a Florida State roster that's, you know, what we've seen from Leonard Hamilton and Sean Stewart does a great job defensively coming up with the steal. Roach up ahead, Filipowski to slam it. Gives Sean Stewart a lot of credit. Sean Stewart getting out, doing a great job defensively. And as he goes down, the presence of mind to find Jeremy Roach, whose head is up, looking for Kyle Phillip. Filipowski doubled up, it spits free. Watkins will drive and lay it in and a foul too. Such a smart play by Watkins. Florida State earlier, he talked about how high of a basketball IQ Jameer Watkins has. And you see it here, just getting his body in hard. So staying connected. Kane has it poked away. Once again, it's Worley. Full ball over the top and a slam by Corrin. And that's another two. Points off turnover. Hill and Worley here in the second half. Worley has been the man defensively. Yeah, Worley doing a great job getting his hand in, and then Taylor Bowen, Bo Bowen, being able to handle it. Roach with 10 to shoot. Roach will drive it amongst the trees. Young retrieved it. It's batted free. Roach, you can see him lock eyes there with McCain to try to get him the ball. Mitchell, strong, following his own miss, sticks that one in. But great recognition by Mark Mitchell, seeing that the, the middle of the floor is wide open. Chandler Jackson in, the sophomore from Memphis. On 
the curl, locked in, drops it two. Filipowski with the touch. Going strong. Follows his miss. That's blocked high out of the sky by Watkins. Long one hit by guess who? The Duke's all-time record by a player is nine three-point makes. Shane Batty is there. He's got one more with the dunk. J.J. Redick did it in 05. McCain now with eight. Roach off the dribble. Mitchell, nifty fake, slapped away. Roach picked up the loose ball and hits it. Just a veteran play by Jeremy Roach, sticking his nose in the middle of all the big bodies and being able to come up in the presence of mind and poise to see the shot clock and get an easy bucket. So it's back up to 10 for Duke. Long one coming and knocked down by Jackson. Second chance. It came to McCain. He's got a lot of booze here, but he knows how to quiet them, too. He absolutely does. Uh, two points away from the Duke freshman record. Another alley of the 10, and the stop. That time it was big Bob Bob Miller to slam it. He's a guy that Florida State needs to try to get going on the offensive end as well. Shot clock down to seven. Roach sees it, fires, hits it. A three-pointer here. That's the lead they had at halftime. Watkins with a pull up. Six in. 33 points and a sensational outing. Trying to add on to that right now. A little floater for two. And that 35 now ties Zion Williamson for the Duke record. Foster. Nice pass. Mitchell with the dunk. I'm not sure why Bob Miller went out to trap Caleb Foster at half court, leaving Mitchell wide open under the basket. Bob Miller coming out. Caleb Foster already has an advantage over Cam Corn. Jameer Watkins. Get Filipowski on him. Pass somehow did get to Warley. He'll lay it up and in. Jeremy Rose got a hand on that basketball. Can't hit the front end of the one and one. Another loose ball picked up by FSU. Tried that one free for McCain and spun up and in for two. That'll be tipped a couple of times for a state. Relentless on the glass, but four chances and it would not go. Finally, that one will drop by Corin. McCain. And it's fitting. He ends the game with the basketball in his hands as his new favorite friends. As Don Staley would say, they're not booing him, they're just calling him boo.